In this session, we're going to look at the Logic Pro Arpeggiator pattern parameters. First parameter is live. You've got live and grid. In live mode, you can add rests, ties, and chords in real time by clicking the on screen buttons or using a MIDI keyboard. In live mode, the grid just acts as display, showing you the notes that you've put in. So in live mode, I press C, and then E, and you can see it appear on the grid, and G, and you can see that appear on the grid. If I now press the tie button, it will add a tie after this position. So it plays C, E, and then plays G twice as long. I could hit tie again. And then I could add a rest, and then add another note. So you can see I've got my C, my E, my G, I've tied it once, I've tied it again, I've added a rest, I've hit a new note. Now if I hit chord, it'll add a chord here. And if I release if I release the notes now, this will go, but what I can do is capture it to grid by clicking the arrow. So now we're looking at the grid mode parameters of the arpeggiator on Logic Pro. It's got 16 steps. The length of the step is dictated by this bar here, so at the moment it's one step, and it's uh, if we turn the arpeggiator on, it just continuously plays the C. If I increase the octave, It would just continuously do that. For now I'll keep it on one octave to keep it simple. So if I now add another note, I can adjust the velocity. It can be high or it can be low. So now we've got a lower velocity note. So it should, if I press the C now, it should play alternating Cs but with different velocities. can now drag this to make it tie but it's not going to work yet because the length is still 2 so if I press this again however if I lengthen this you can see it plays that one and then it plays the quieter one but I can increase this now turn this step on it's now the length is 16 so if I press a C now these will all be silent but it will play the C at the end however I could change the length to 9 click the chord and then I press a C, E and G so by adding notes at different velocities I can begin to make a pattern I can assign chords to some of them Add an octave, add some variation, and increase the speed. And as well as creating your own patterns, this one's a custom one, you can call up some of the um, ones that are built in. So. As soon as I change this pattern in any way, this becomes custom. And once it's custom, that means you can save it as something different. 
How would you save the pattern? Well, if you go back here, you would just do a save pattern as, or you could delete the user pattern. And that's the pattern parameters.